Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A huge ice shelf attached to Antarctica, known as Larsen C, may be about to break away. If it does, the 5,000 square kilometre mass would become one of the tenth largest icebergs ever recorded on the planet. Floating on the seas of West Antarctica, Larsen C is its most northern major ice shelf. It's about the size of a quarter of Wales. It's attached to the continent by a 20 kilometre thread of ice, which scientists say is rapidly diminishing. Our science editor, Tom Clark has this report. It's a huge crack running through the expanse of ice on the edge of Western Antarctica. These images taken by NASA show how long and deep the rift on the Larsen Sea ice shelf really is. It threatens to separate a chunk of ice the size of Norfolk from the Antarctic Peninsula and soon. The crack spread to here by 2010. Since then it has gradually crept along the ice but in the last month it's lengthened by more than 11 miles. Just 12 miles of ice now keep it from floating away. It's got most of the way towards producing the iceberg. So the iceberg is hanging on by a thin strip of ice. And we think that in the next few weeks it might well break off. Professor David Vaughan knows only too well what happens when icebergs begin to break off in the Antarctic. He leads a team of scientists that have been monitoring the peninsula for nearly three decades. The iceberg will float off into the ocean. It's already floating, so it has no immediate impact on sea level rise. Um, but if, because the iceberg is taken away, then the glaciers that are feeding that ice shelf speed up, then that would be an extra contribution to sea level rise. He's seen several similar break-offs which have caused ice to disintegrate into the ocean, but nothing on this scale. This is one of the big ones. It's the biggest that we've seen coming off the Antarctic Peninsula, certainly. So it, it's a biggie. The crack in Larsen Sea has been present for years, and its sudden growth is thought to be completely independent of climate change in the Antarctic. But there is evidence the ice sheet has been getting thinner, melting from below and above due to warmer sea and air. That could have a bearing on what happens next. Some scientists predict the entire ice shelf could collapse as others have done, slowly redrawing the map of Antarctica. I've been